Hello, my name is Anna Lee. Today, I'm going to be showing you an activity that you can do in your hospital room. It's called I Spy Bottles. If you've ever played I Spy, you might have an idea of what we'll be doing. Let me show you what we'll need. For this activity, you will need an empty water bottle or jar with a lid, rice, paper and pen or pencil, and some small toys that will fit into the bottle. These small toys could be beads, buttons, jelly beans, dice, shells, or anything you like that will fit into the bottle. I have small colorful beads to put into the bottle. What we will be doing is taking the rice and the small toys and putting them into the bottle. You may notice that you cannot see through the rice and the small items will be covered in the rice. Don't worry, this is supposed to happen. When your small items get lost in the rice, we will be looking for them through the bottle. Once the bottle is filled with the rice and your small items, we can use the bottle to play I Spy and look. Once you have created your very own I Spy bottle, you can use it whenever you want. You can use it when you have to do something with the doctors or nurses, or when you are bored and wanting to play I Spy. Let's get started on making our I Spy bottles. First, we're going to collect our materials. Here, I have an empty jar with a lid, some colorful beads, rice, and paper and a pen. First, we are going to collect some of the colorful beads we want to put into the jar. Before you put them in, write down exactly what you are putting in so that you can have a checklist. You might need an adult to help you with this part. I have blue, red, yellow, and purple beads. So I made a checklist for blue beads, red beads, yellow beads, and purple beads. Next, you can put your small items into the bottle. You want to leave lots of space in the jar for the rice to go in, so don't use too many of the smaller items. Next, we're going to take our piece of paper and create a funnel shape to help the rice get into the bottle without spilling all over the place. You might need to ask an adult for help with this one too. Next, take the piece of paper out. Next, we are going to close up the bottle with the lid. Now, you can give it a good shake. You will notice that your small items start to disappear into the rice. Don't worry, they aren't lost, they're just hiding in the rice. Now, you can spin your bottle until you find your items in the rice. If you want, you can also check off the ones you do find on your checklist. I can show you how I use mine, and we can find some beads together. I want to look for a blue bead. I see one, and I see another. Now, I can go onto my checklist and check off blue beads. Now, I want to look for a red bead. There's one. 
Now I can go into my checklist and check off red beads. Now it's your turn to use your eye spy bottle. Great job helping me spot the beads and thank you for watching. Enjoy!